Every coordinate system explained. Cartesian coordinate system. The Cartesian coordinate system is a way of representing points in space using two or more numerical values. In its most basic form in two dimensions, it uses two values, x, y. In three dimensions, the coordinates x, y, z are delimited, which correspond to the position of a point in the plane and in space, respectively. The Cartesian system was developed by René Descartes in the 17th century. His idea arose from the need to represent geometry using algebraic equations. Descartes demonstrated how curves could be expressed using algebraic equations, revolutionizing mathematics and facilitating the development of modern physics and engineering. As for its importance, we can mention some of the many applications of Cartesian coordinates. In mathematics, Cartesian coordinates are the basis for analytical geometry, allowing lines, curves, and figures to be represented by equations. In physics, they are used to describe the movement of particles, forces, and trajectories. In engineering, they are key in computer-aided design, CAD, computer graphics, and structural modeling. In economics, they are used for the analysis of supply and demand functions. The Cartesian plane in two dimensions is composed of two axes that are perpendicular. The x-axis, also known as the abscissa axis, commonly represents the horizontal direction. The y-axis, also known as the ordinate axis, commonly represents the vertical direction. The origin of the coordinates 0, 0 is the point where both axes intersect. The Cartesian plane can be divided into quadrants. Each point in the Cartesian plane is represented as A equals x1, y1. The slope of a line in the Cartesian plane measures its inclination with respect to the x-axis. It is defined as the quotient between the change in y and the change in x between two points, shown as m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. If m is greater than 0, the line grows from left to right. If m is less than 0, the line decreases from left to right. If m equals 0, the line is horizontal. If m is not defined, the line is vertical. If a line forms an angle theta with the positive x-axis, its slope can be expressed in terms of theta using the trigonometric tangent function m equals tangent of theta, where theta is the angle of inclination of the line with respect to the x-axis. If theta is greater than 0 degrees and less than 90 degrees, the slope is positive. If theta is greater than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees, the slope is negative. If theta equals 0 degrees, the slope is 0, the line is horizontal. If theta is 90 degrees, the slope is undefined, the line is vertical. This relationship is useful in trigonometry and analytical geometry to determine the direction of a line from its slope. Two lines are parallel if they have the same slope, that is, m1 is equal to m2. This means that both lines have the same slope and never intersect, unless they are the same line. Two lines are perpendicular if the product of their slopes equals negative 1 m1 times m2 equals negative 1. There are different ways of expressing the equation of the line. These are known as point slope equation, y minus y1 equals m times quantity x minus x1, general equation of the straight line, ax plus by plus c equals 0, explicit equation of the line, y equals mx plus b, Segmental equation, x over a plus y over b equals 1. Parametric equation, x equals x0 plus at, y equals y0 plus bt. A vector is a mathematical entity with magnitude, direction, and sense, represented by a segment oriented in space. It is used in physics and mathematics to describe displacements, forces, or velocities, and can be expressed in Cartesian coordinates as an ordered set of components, denoted as the following, where Vx, Vy, Vz are the components on the x, y, z axes, respectively. 
vectors can be added and subtracted using the sum of their components, and they can also be multiplied by a scalar. Vectors are fundamental in analytical geometry, physics, and calculus, since they allow directions, displacements, and forces in space to be described. Some operations with vectors are the dot product. The dot product has several applications. Determine if two vectors are perpendicular. Calculate the projection of a vector onto another. Finding the angle between two vectors. The cross product is an operation between two vectors in three dimensions. The result is a vector perpendicular to the two original vectors. Applications of the vector cross product are Determine a normal vector to a plane. Calculate the moment of a force in mechanics. Find the area of the parallelogram defined by two vectors. Conic sections can be represented in the Cartesian plane. The equations of conic sections are as follows. Circle, ellipse, hyperbola, parabola. The three-dimensional Cartesian plane is a reference system formed by three perpendicular axes, x, y, z, which define three-dimensional space. Each point is represented by coordinates x, y, z, allowing to locate positions and describe geometric relationships. Three-dimensional Cartesian space is divided into octants. Each point in Cartesian space is represented as a equals x1, y1, z1. In three dimensions, the distances between two points are defined as quadric surfaces, or surfaces in three-dimensional space, are cubed, whose general equation is the following, where a through j are constants. Quadric surfaces are the three-dimensional extension of conic sections in the plane. The types of quadric surfaces are ellipsoid, it is a closed and symmetrical surface with respect to the coordinate axes. If A equals B equals C, a sphere is obtained. Elliptical paraboloid. Hyperbolic paraboloid. Hyperboloid of a sheet. Hyperboloid of two sheets. Elliptical cylinder. Hyperbolic cylinder. Elliptical cone. In summary, quadric surfaces are the following. Polar coordinate system. The polar coordinate system is an alternative to the Cartesian system for locating points on the plane. Instead of using x, y, it uses two values. r equals the distance from the point to the origin, known as the pole. If it is negative, the point is reflected with respect to the origin. Theta. It is the angle with respect to the polar axis, expressed in degrees or radians. This system is particularly useful in situations where radial symmetry is relevant, such as in the analysis of waves, electromagnetic fields, and circular trajectories. The main differences with the Cartesian coordinate system are In Cartesian coordinates, a point is located by horizontal and vertical displacements. In polar coordinates, it is located by its distance from the origin and its angular direction. Simple conversion, some mathematical problems are easier to solve in polar coordinates, such as equations of circles and spirals. Polar coordinates in calculus are used in differential equations, trigonometric functions, and complex analysis. In physics, they are essential for solving problems in mechanics, waves, and electromagnetism. In engineering, they are used in navigation systems, radar, and the analysis of circular structures. To convert between polar and Cartesian coordinates, the following is used. From polar to Cartesian, x equals r cosine theta, y equals r sine theta. From Cartesian to polar, r equals the square root of x squared plus y squared, theta equals y over x. Polar functions are expressed as r equals f of theta, rather than y equals f of x. Some examples of common polar curves are circle, Archimedean spiral, cardioids, lemniscates, Bernoulli's lemniscate, curves in the shape of roses. If n is even, there are two n petals. If n is odd, there are n petals. 
the angle theta can be expressed in degrees or radians, depending on context and convenience. Degrees and radians are two ways of measuring angles. Degrees, a full circle equals 360 degrees. Radians, a full circle equals 2 pi, aka tau, radians. To convert between degrees and radians, use from degrees to radians, from radians to degrees. The use of radians is most common in polar coordinates because it simplifies many mathematical expressions, especially in calculus and trigonometry. Cylindrical Coordinate System The cylindrical coordinate system is an extension of the polar system to three-dimensional space. Instead of Cartesian coordinates x, y, z, it uses three values. r equals distance from the point to the z-axis, such as the radius in the xy plane. Theta, angle that the point forms with the positive x-axis in the xy plane. Z equals height of the point above the xy plane. The main differences between cylindrical coordinates and Cartesian and polar coordinates are, in cylindrical coordinates, instead of using x and y, r and theta are used, while the z coordinate remains the same. It is a three-dimensional extension of polar coordinates, adding the z-axis. This system is useful when the problem presents cylindrical symmetry, as in tubular structures, fluid flows, and electromagnetism. To transform a point from cylindrical to Cartesian, use the following. To convert from Cartesian to cylindrical, use the following. Spherical coordinate systems. The spherical coordinate system is a three-dimensional generalization of the polar system, used to represent points in space by a radius and two angles. Instead of xyz in Cartesian coordinates, or r theta z in cylindrical coordinates, three values are used. Rho, radius, distance from point to origin. Theta, azimuthal angle, same as in polar and cylindrical coordinates, measured in the xy plane. Phi, elevation angle. Measured from the z-axis, it controls the height of the point. This system is useful when problems present spherical symmetry, as in astronomy, modeling celestial coordinates and planetary orbits, electromagnetic waves, and quantum physics. The main differences with other coordinate systems are, this system focuses on distances and angles rather than displacements on perpendicular axes. While cylindrical coordinates use a height z, spherical coordinates use a second angle phi. The conversion between spherical and Cartesian coordinates is... To convert from Cartesian to spherical coordinates, use... Spherical coordinates are used in mathematical models of the Earth's magnetic field. This computer simulation, based on the glatzmeier roberts model, shows magnetic lines of force, representing inward and outward field lines in blue and yellow, respectively. Next, a graphical representation of a point in space will be made for the different coordinate systems, Cartesian, cylindrical, and spherical coordinates. This is the same point represented in three different coordinate systems. The same concept also applies to different types of surfaces. For example, in some applications of multivariable calculus, such as the calculation of volume between solids, it is convenient to change the coordinates, either to cylindrical or spherical, as appropriate. In this way, the solution of triple integrals is facilitated.